It is not difficult to predict your future. Watch what you do today. There can be clear signs of what you become tomorrow. We all always want to know what the future holds for us, but Providence has given signs to let us have a solid idea of what our future may look like. I was recently in a meeting when the leader echoed a statement I had always believed and lived my life by. He said, breakthrough is preparation, meeting opportunity. This is why luck is a myth. Those who think success or anything worthwhile is built on luck have it backward. You cannot achieve a good life by luck any more than you can achieve a citizen of another country by wishing. There are signs in your life, traceable even to your days as a child or a teenager, that show you are going to be rich or not. In today's video, I will be sharing with you three signs that you will become rich. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. You have an entrepreneurial spirit. I have always said it, we won't all become entrepreneurs, but most repeated successes come from entrepreneurship. When we were little, my older brother, who was less than 15 at the time, would go to neighbors' houses to collect their shoes, to mend and polish them. As his business grew, he set up a Rika tea table and chair in front of our house. This time, neighbors brought their shoes to him. As he grew older, even as a teenager, he would go to neighbors' houses to ask if he could clean their environment. In my family, we often had what we needed. So, the business wasn't just about money for him, it was about the game. As I grew older too, I discovered I loved the idea of having sold something much more than the money made. What you will find is that most rich people actually started out early, traced their background, and you'll find they had a natural inclination towards entrepreneurship. Bill Gates always had a knack for negotiating his way through at home and in school. Steve Jobs was a business wheeze as a kid, always trying to sell stuff. British billionaire and entrepreneur Sir Richard Branson got into trouble several times because he was often trying to sell something as a kid. Entrepreneur and professional sports team owner Mark Cuban sold garbage bags door to door when he was 12 years old so he could buy shoes. Warren Buffett sold packs of gums to neighbors at the age of 6 and made his first stock investment at the age of 11. They all started early and it was only in time before they launched into something big. Suppose you find you have an entrepreneurial spirit, in that case, you're always interested in selling something or turning an idea into money. It may not necessarily mean that you love to have money, but you enjoy the game of making money. Then, it's a sign you may become rich in the future. 2. You have a sense of urgency. Yesterday, I chided my partner for an attitude I have noticed she puts up often. When an opportunity shows up, she will give a reason why she cannot be a part of it. For example, someone wanted her to participate in an advanced IT training that was coming up pretty soon. Her first response to the job was, I don't have a laptop. Well, like I always say, the problem is not that you like what you need to get the job done. The problem is that you don't want to do it. When you're ready to do it, you figure out ways to get it done. I hate to wait. I hate to delay. If an idea hits and it is beautiful, there is nothing stopping me from starting it. Successful people have a sense of urgency. After studying over 500 millionaires, journalist and author, Napoleon Hill found that successful people act promptly. In his 1937 personal finance classic, Think and Grow Rich, he writes, Analysis of several hundred people who had accumulated fortunes well beyond the million dollar mark disclosed the fact that every one of them had the habit of reaching decisions promptly. Canadian entrepreneur Dan Locke wrote, If you are impatient and have a strong sense of urgency, you are probably a high achiever as well. Patience is not a virtue. Patience is a character flaw because high achievers are impatient. They do not want to wait and they want to achieve their goals now. High achievers and successful people know that time is precious and they try to make the most of it, always. The second sign that you're likely to become rich in the future is that you don't wait to have it all together before you start. You hate procrastination. If an idea hits you now, you don't want to wait till tomorrow before you get things moving. You want to start now. Slowing down is a sure sign that one is reluctant to succeed. Successful people understand that they are about succeeding and since they believe in making the most of opportunities, they take advantage of the moment. If you're like this, it's a sign you will become rich in the future. 3. You are goal-oriented. One of the ways I keep myself going is by setting goals. When I don't have goals I am pursuing, which rarely happens, I am often scattered. If there is anything successful people hate, it is not being in control of their time. Not having goals means you can do whatever you want with your time, and others can do the same with your time as well. When you are goal-oriented, you don't wake up confused about how your day will go. You already know what you have planned for the day, and so are ready to heat the day working. Those who will be successful often have this habit of setting goals. They own their day, and the blessing of this is that you never live a confused life. 
This is why you cannot bring just anything before a successful person. They would wait to be sure it fits into the plans they have made. I once approached a businessman with an idea I was completely certain will make him far more money. I considered the idea, and he told me it was splendid, but at this time, the idea would distract him from his goal if he got into it. I didn't quite understand what he meant then, but now I know better. If you don't have a plan for yourself, someone else does, and naturally, they will fit you into their plan. Goal setting means you're choosing the direction in which your life will go. If anything contrary comes in between that, you can easily push it away. Do you find yourself too often trying to push yourself towards a particular direction? Do you find yourself always setting goals and never comfortable with just living life without goals? It is a sure sign that you may become rich in the future. If your goal is to become rich someday, you must make it a habit to set goals and push your life along the path of a clear vision. If you don't do this, you will naturally fit into someone else's plan. Others will only use you to achieve their goals and it wouldn't be their fault. Summarily, you know you're likely to be rich if you watch out for these three signs in your life. However, if you desire to become rich but do not observe this in your life, habits can be learned, entrepreneurship can be learned, read books, watch videos and attend seminars on entrepreneurship, begin to have a sense of urgency, instead of pushing an idea till later, implement them as soon as possible. The worst that can happen is that you fail. If you fail, you can easily start over, become goal-oriented, you focus your life in the direction you want when you set goals and pursue them. Directionless people are not certain to get anywhere. If you want to succeed, your life must follow a certain clear path. If this video inspired you, share the video with your friends. We love you.